In this video, I'm going to demonstrate in Akshore 8 how to create a master navigation and add it to each web page. I already have some web pages built, but they don't have uh, a top navigation yet. Each page has different content. So to the left pane where it says master, click the button to add a new master. You can rename it. Then double click and make sure you're working on the workspace for master navigation. I would like to insert a horizontal menu. So just drag and drop in here. And by default, it comes with three menu items. You can click to rename them. And before renaming, I like to change the style of this. So any new menu item I add after would inherit the same style. So first of all, I want to get rid of the border. So under the stop, after select the entire menu, which the line becomes green dotted line around it. And I click on the style, no border. For each single item, I also would select, so press the command key on your Mac or shift key um, to select each menu item. So this is a blue dotted line. And again, click no border in the style. So now you can rename them as whatever you need. And if you need more, right click on the menu item and add after or before. You can also create um, sub menus as well. So right click, for example, in products at sub menu category one, two, three. So we want uh, the customers to be able to click on one and go to that particular page. So in the properties, uh, we highlight the menu item and click create link and then link to the corresponding pages and since we already have these pages created it's just the internal page we need to point it to there's another way um, to add it is um, if you program the on click event and open link and then you can point to that internal page as well so uh, it's the same effect you can notice that is just um, different ways to create the links we also like to insert a logo which is the image so we would just put the logo above and resize it And then we want to right click and import image and select the logo. And if you want to preserve the ratio of the original image when we resize it, we press down the shift key while drag and resize the image. So this way it doesn't um, affect the proportion of the image. And then we want to give it a link as well back to the home page. Yeah. And then in front, we just like to add name of our website. And in the style, we can make it a little bit or text in bigger and bold. So once we have this mass navigation, um, we are able to add this, we're ready to add this into each web page. But one more thing, right click on the master navigation, I like to change the job behavior from default place anywhere to lock to master location. So this way, it doesn't matter how I drop the 
where I drop the master navigation to each page, it will just fall into the page that I define in the master navigation page. And if you don't like it, you can change it later in the master navigation page and you only need to make that change one time in that place and the change will reflect automatically in all the pages that you inserted the master navigation. So there you get the consistency uh, throughout the website for each page. Customers will always expect the top navigation and logo always on top of each page in the same location and look more professional that way as well. Now let's take a look at the preview. So we're at home page, product page, service page, about us, login, contact us, back to home. So this is the um, Akshur 8, we just created a master navigation and added to each of our pages.